our first authority on love, body language expert, Mark Edgar Stevens. I've never seen a couple so in sync with body language. They have what we call the three H's, head, heart, and hips, which means they think alike, they love alike, and the fire is burning in all the right places. <laughs> Mark? Oprah, balance. These two have so much balance, you can see it in their body language right now. We can see it in the room. Verbally and physically, they take up the slack for one another. If one is down, the other one picks them up. The power in the room was overwhelming. So I think for all of us, it was an experience that just uh, reaffirmed that the strongest thing you can ever deal with is love. I felt the love of everybody in came that room. It came with a message of love. It came with a message of love. So that's when you really got it, when you can have the external experience reflect the, the inner heart. Body language expert Mark Edgar Stevens senses true tension there, but goes on to say that Simon's relationship with Paula has grown stronger. Simon is actually in Paula's space. You see him leaning in toward her. You see his arm behind her. He's more physically comfortable with Paula than with anybody else. You see Lindsay actually start to get a little nervous with the fingers, start to play with things. You, you see her body actually start to tighten in just a bit. This is a very, very touchy subject for her. Scared. Whatever it was that Michael was scared of, he was being honest about how scared he was. He plants with his eyes, he keeps focused in one direction, and he stops all of that movement. He's not avoiding anything. He wants us to know, I was scared. We'll start with Mark Edgar Stevens, our body language specialist. I really want to help you with this, okay? okay. I don't know anything about stem cell research, okay? <laughs> now, what I do know is that people that work with stem cell research, they have to be very smart, it leads me to think, stereotypically, number nine does have an accent. She said her name was Hannah. Many people from Germany, science is a very, very big thing there. She's very serious minded. So I'm gonna say that number nine is the stem cell researcher. You've done your research. 